Hello, I'm back again with the face. Well, some of you may have noticed that I, I stopped doing the five star completely. Well, the whole project has got too big for various reasons. One, it's, it's, it's exhausting to do, but as a creative, I always want to finish the project. It's, it's a skill issue on my end and that end. But then personal life kind of got in the way and the days just kept piling up and up and up. And to be honest, the creative drive in doing these just wasn't there. Like I wasn't satisfied with what I was making. I just didn't like the videos. The content wasn't it wasn't my style anymore, but I can still power through that. But now, everyone's freaking injured. When Utami got injured, my heart dropped, and I just completely lost interest in doing this. And now you add them all up, and it's even worse. So we have Saya Kamatani, Utami, Starlight Kid, Tam Nakano, Nuts Boy, and probably even Azumi as well. That's too much of your roster, way too much. And it soured the 5 star a little bit for me. As a fan, watching the 5 star produce some of the best content out there. But as a, as a creator covering it, oh man, it was hard. And I kind of just lost interest. I just gotta be honest, you know? So I wasn't going to continue. But man, I hate leaving projects unfair. Finished. So, but I cannot finish the five star in the state that I was doing with one episode each. So, to best satisfy my need to finish things, my YouTube content creator promised to you to deliver the whole five star, my feelings regarding the project, and with respect to all the wrestlers involved. We be speedrunning, yes! We will finish the five star coverage in one episode. Do we miss all the nuance in doing that? Well, yes, but this is the best I can do. I I do apologize, but safe to say, no more tournament recaps or pay-per-view recaps in general. I like doing absurd matches and Mayu Iwatani. Though to be honest, I kind of just now figured out how to recap these things. It's, it's so silly. So that's the future of the channel. No more like pay-per-view recaps. It's more high quality things that I take my time on unless I really want to talk about it. But that's really all I gotta say. I don't want to hold you up too much. Let's get into this really long five-star special. Well, it's not even that long. So. But enough babbling human face, let's get on with this speed run hosted by Minishirikawa! No, just kidding. I cannot do that voice for that long. Night 16, Sori Ano went head to head with the white belt champion Mirai, and despite her athletic ability, her gorgeous need to just be violent, Mirai took her power toward her and hit a ton of big moves. But Mirai, the lariat machine, went for one too many, and Ano counted with the pottering for the victory. Now run it back for the white belt and we have a great match. Starlight Kid is already eliminated and decided she wasn't being enough of a little bitch in this little tournament and took out her anger on Hazuki. Oh my Tamu! In front of the commoners, the commoners, think of the commoners. Despite the aggressive but beautiful violence, Hazuki will lock in the Mahistro Cradle for a must needed win. SOK in 2023 haven't been kind. Mm. Suzu Suzuki is someone who has to win every single match from here on out and get lucky that the other competitors will fall literally in real life too. And she is faced against a serious Tam Nakano. Oh, serious Tam Nakano to seriousness. But Meltier likes taking these bumps on the apron. Ow! Stop doing that bump. But Suzu the crazy girl. Ow! The crazy girl. She be hitting everything on Tam. A tequila shot off the top for the dolphin slam. Tam running out of time. Desperate losing control. And Suzu with a locomotive steam German train defeats Tam Nakano in a surprise victory. Micah and Julia had a main event where they also collided and collided and collided and hitting big ass moves one after the other. Julia would deliver the most perfect glorious driver you will see, but Micah kicked out at one. Julia would finish the job with the Northern Lights Bomb, which has become her main finisher these days. Surely this conflict won't come back to bite Julia in the ass. And that was night 16. Night 17 has the weirdest hard cam I've ever seen. <laughs> and I used to film wrestling. Ami is facing Tam Nakano and it escalates quickly. Oh my Tamu. Ami killer mode out to destroy this warrior of the cosmos. Ami destroy. Ami bend. Ami get destroyed by the mighty second phase Nakano mode. And Tiger suplex to defeat. 
Poi came out to face his smiling Hazuki Poi, who came, who quickly turned to Bully Poi in the neck Poi, but Poi, Fly Poi, and Kick Poi, and Brock Poi, and going Poi Poi Poi, nope 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 yes nope 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 Bombs away drop, and a brain buster combo finishes off this cute fairy, deflating her momentum. <sighs> The main event was the speedster versus the red-haired strong girl Micah, and of course we speed running through, high speed showcase of Azumi and Micah powering through to catch a break, but as usual, Azumi too good, too fast, too on it as usual, including this brilliant encounter here, holy shit, uh, god damn girl, that was dope, that was dope, and stomp. Jesus! Micah slows it down briefly, but Azumi forces you to wrestle her speed. But Micah manages to overcome the speed with power again, allowing for a victorious Michinoku driver. Just one needed. Night 18 began with Momo Watanabe taking on the whippersnapper Hanan, and she went like wee! But Hanan bought to Momo, refusing to die from her moves, eating a giant kick. But who's this god just rising and then? dying again from a peach drop. Mariah May faced off against our Clapion Mirai, but Mirai has been slowly adding new moves to her arsenal. Look at this one. And now she's showing off. Mirai would attempt to steal like the white woman at Trader Joe's I watched steal a sandwich earlier when her outfit and Prada dictated that she totally did not need to steal a sandwich. <laughs> but Mirai probably has one of the more interesting movesets in stardom and eventually hits the Miramare for the win. Suzu Suzuki back in the main against Ame Sore, and Ame would hit all her banger moves one after another, just constant highlight wheel. But Suzu has better technique than people might not realize, and eventually scores her way into a tequila shot victory for yet another win, and the confidence to win her matches and still continues to get lucky. Night 19 was fucking dope as fuck, oh my god. Night 19 was fucking dope, yo. Begins with Ame Sore versus Nuts Boy, and last year they had a match that, that, that I didn't care for, but this year they had a really, really good match. I actually recommend it. Actually, we recommend this whole show. The production team were doing a a lot of close-ups, really, really good for people who need music videos or highlight reel footage. Lots of good close-ups on this one. Highly recommended. Ame's improvement is very lovely to watch, and Nuts Boy is phenomenal. Ame would eventually score the victory with like a thunderbolt, and as soon as the move hit, Poi's male simps immediately cried out. No! It was hilarious. <laughs> But shut up, it's Mina Shirakawa! Oh no! Momo jumped her off the gate! Oh god damn it, Momo! You're so mean! She was dancing! Mina Shirakawa! And now she's bleeding! She's bleeding! Mina's bleeding! God damn it! This match slapped though! Holy fuck! Momo looking like a total badass throughout, and Mina with blood on her face, delivering such a beautiful performance! Very lovely Mina, and still targeting the knee of Momo as soon as she can! Mina Shirakawa has been wrestling strategically all throughout, and her match style has shown this! Still with the knee strat, but perfectly willing to switch it up on the fly, and just beat some fucking Momo ass, and start targeting the neck, and then back to the knee, and then just straight murder, and strikes! and the figure four, but Momo being Momo just out badasses Mina Shirakawa, but Mina still in it. Tequila Sunrise, and then the Peach Thunder, but Mina realizes and counters into a way to tie. Oh no, not the dreaded super, super hard ass case. And Mina steals a victory. Ending aside, this was pretty Pretty cool. The visual of Mina. Oh, night 20 begins with a slap from Mariah May. She's facing Micah and showing what she can do against larger opponents. But Micah's strength and power overcomes the tall frame of Mariah May, hitting big ass moves one after another and landing one single Michinoku driver for the win. Just takes one, folks. Julia versus Azumi was a match you should watch for Julia's outfit alone. Probably my favorite outfit Julia has ever won. Fashion sells icon here, S tier fashion as always. But because Azumi speed runs straight past Julia in an 80% match that went sub one minute, distortion two, no Azumi. The glitches in this game are the most cursed shit out of any game I've 
ever fucking played. Not quite Saki Kashima level of speed though. But let's let's give Asumi a break. She don't have the high speed buff anymore. Oh Julia, losing your five star in less than a minute. The main was a rematch from last year of Tam knocking off versus Shuri in a battle of badass final bosses, taking things in an epic style, feeling each other out, making up for lost time from the prior speed run. And it's epic. Oh, these are bosses are right. Tam Nakano, the warrior of the cosmos, the stardom dream. And Shuri, she who was such a master of those kicks. My god, just oh my god, this warrior. But Shuri is on Tam Row, Tam it, and she must compete with the sheer power of Tam's knees. The god Tam knees. Tam running through Tam Road, and her sheer second phase Nakano mode lands the violent screwdriver for the big, big victory over Shuri. Tam Nakano just has to beat Knott's boy, and she will make it to the finals of the five star Grand Prix and reach the end of Tam Road. Night 21, Mina Shirakawa out here with her Spirit of the Boomers bandana. She can cause earthquakes with those. That's elemental damage too. And Micah once checked her out, and I'm not implying anything more than they give. See? See? The power of Mina Shirakawa's boobas. I wasn't making shit up. And for waking the beast, that is Mina Shirakawa's once voted best body in Japan. Micah has to withstand long, arduous torture by the strategic hand of Mina into a time limit draw. Suzu Suzuki in the main against Hazuki. Last year, Hazuki won, but now Suzu is the crazy girl. So what happens when you combine crazy and wild and everything nice? You get crazy, wild shit. Oh my god, they're so crazy and wild and crazy and wild. These two produce passionate rabbit fights. This one is no exception. A bombs away drop and a brain buster shirt ended, but Suzu escapes. A tequila shot followed shortly after a flash pin escape into a locomotive German train that finishes Hazuki off. This is three straight victories for Suzu Suzuki now. Because of Atami's injury, Suzu Suzuki just has to gamble that her blockmates lose their match and she will make it to the finals as fresh as she can be, giving her an enormous advantage. Night 22, just one match. A chance for Starlight Kid to spoil Shuri completely and Kid back in a little bitch mode and not giving a single little fuck. There's no honor here, but once Shuri gets her kicks in her, oh no. And despite the lack of single fucks giving SOK more confidence, her scrappiness, her beautiful moonsaults, Shuri's offense is just too good. Like this version of her Ryuin, eating the kick like damn. And then losing to a wrist clutch version of the Ryuin that looked evil. And that's the five star leading to the finals. I scuffed this whole numbering of jeez. Oh man. But it's fine. Because we made it this far, folks. It's the five star finale. And we're missing Starlight Kid. Because she got injured too. So no Mayu Iwatani at all in this episode. Hmm? My god. They work too hard. Seriously. They work way too hard. Seven matches in the finale. Let's go. My face is the front of shop. Mariah May out in her last match in stardom. She's clearly emotional and her time was a great one. She had a wonderful five star and impressed many people. She's facing off against someone she views as a little sister, Hanan, who grew much since the last year and won the new blood tag titles with Saya Ida as Ringori and shout out to Ari. Woo! And oh. Mariah gonna cry. Mariah May is easily the biggest 180 I've ever had on a wrestler. Shame on me for judging oh so quickly, but just as quickly, Mariah turned me around and she's truly a talented wrestler. And she kills Hanan, but activates her rabid mode of Hanan and Hanans her. She reverses a fancy Mariah pin into her 17 for the Hanan victory in Mariah May's final match in her stardom ring. Good luck to the fighting princess. Next is Momo Watanabe. The Black Peach was such a dominant power early on, but lost so much steam as she stacked up losses. But at least we get Kozakai going like... Black Peach Watanabe! Momo! 
Azumi. The speedster out here looking to be speedy again. And oh no, Momo, like, fuck off. Momo don't care. She's the boss in this ring. No speedrun tricks. Azumi gotta work for it. Land her hits. But Momo back to giving Azumi a tour around the ring. Say hi, fans. Hello. Cage drop. A decapitating kick to the head. But nope, Azumi back. She back. La Mystica lands and into an Azumi Sushi. And the destroyer. Then Momo goes. Get that shit out of here. The key to sunrise. Combo into a peach sunrise for the victory. Wow. Momo ends on a high note over her former partner. What a baddie. Oh, this Momocita. Black peach in your area. Next is Mina Shirakawa, and she has to beat her next opponent in order to make it to the finals. What a position to be in, but her opponent is Sori Ano. Oh, this ever, ever mysterious, ever beautiful, so, so effortlessly beautiful, wonderful, stoic, and downright stone cold killer of a woman. Mina, after her strategy as usual, it ends up landing it. Ano after the same strategy and using her perfect beautiful bridge to execute it. Who's gonna execute the strategy better? Mina spent the whole five star basically doing the exact same match and doing it very, very well in my opinion. I wouldn't have ever thought I would say that Mina Shirakawa would have such a technical, more strategic approach to her matches, but every single move, nothing is wasted. Ano would utilize her perfect bridge strats to great use. She is such an insane Insane woman of pure beauty, just, just a work of art. With both knees damaged, it's all about who will land the final submission. And look at this beautiful counter from Mina Shirakawa, landing the figure four and locking it in tight. Ono, the ever stoic one, showing extreme pain. She reaches and survives. When this happens, Mina always goes immediately for the second strat, switching focus straight to the neck. She's an artist in the ring, painting the exact match she wants. Figure four driver, but Ono escapes and Germans down into the pottering and one two but she kicks out Mina with her amazing one wing a dragon screw but back to the figure four one too many times and Arnold catches Mina in a flash pen oh no great match Arnold stole that by the skin of her teeth and that cheeky grin too <laughs> Mina did everything right in this match, but she just simply got caught. Beautiful match, truly beautiful work from Arno this whole tournament, becoming one of my favorites in stardom and insanely solid wrestling and match organization from Mina Shirakawa. That just leaves the red-haired Micah a chance to win the blue block. She just gotta defeat she who is blue, who holds the white and claps. Solid showing for Mariah and her growing arsenal of moves, and they do what they do best, pure stubbornness. My god, my god, just stop. Someone give, damn it. And Mariah doing geometry in the squared circle and knocks her down. A match of strength from both Micah with the superplex and the STO trading lariats and oh now they're lariating they're lariating what a close line nope no give no give at all just two throngs slamming into each other until Mariah cracks her with a big ass lariat but Micah kicks out at one Miramari attempt blocked and she lands a single Michinoku driver for the victory much earned by Micah, who has won the blue block of the 2023 Stardom 5 Star Grand Prix and will wrestle in the finals. Suzu Suzuki needs all three of these matches to go her way. Let's see how well her luck stat was leveled up. We got Ame Sore here versus Shuri. She who must win this match. This badass here. I will say it again. I was wrong about my take on Shuri. This woman is on it. She's on a level of badassery because she learned from the very best. This little demon here. And Ame, super aggressive. You can't just give Shuri an inch. Not one chance to kick you and all oh, she kicks her. The power of Ame be damned though. It's her breadwinner. Outpower and out 
outdrive her opponents and hit her big moves, overcome her damaged arm, and slam Shuri down and hit a blue thunder bomb. Shuri's precision saves her as she locks in the damaged arm. Shuri rolls for better position and oh, Ami catches her in the pin and gets her. Wow, one mistake by Shuri and she's out of this five star. That's one down for Suzu. Next is Natsuko Tora, the big bad boss of a widow tie, and she had a fucking phenomenal showing in this five star, and I hope she reminded people just how good she can be. Tora has to win this match to reach the finals, and she's facing Hazuki, her former unit mate. They have their issues. It was Tora who had initially wrestled Hazuki's last match, but things are different now. Hazuki is different, and Tora is over the past. Hazuki bringing the fight to Tora, a taste of her medicine from this whole tournament. This wild heart relentless banshee Hazuki. But boss Mo Tora just needs a chance to strike and bombard Hazuki with power moves and given the first chance to cheat she does. Constant bombs dropping a Hazuki, but Hazuki back with her aggressive style and lands outside. Dropping a bomb's ray drop and then a brain buster, but oh the blue mist! The sleeping mist! The most OP move in wrestling! The mist attack. Hazuki eats a driver and then a swanton. But Tora with one more driver and Hazuki magically awaits. Oh, she don't sleep easily and steals the victory. Holy shit. Tora's tournament is over. Hazuki overcame sleep to win. Just like a college student. <laughs> Tora may have lost, but she showed up in this five star, my dudes, and reminded everyone what a boss she can truly be. That's two opponents who have lost for Suzu. Her luck can pay off with one more victory. If Nuts Boy can once again be Tam Nakano, she will spoil it for her cosmic leader and tag team partner. Tam Nakano would have it no other way. No easy victory, just a rematch between the two. Nuts Boy has beaten Tam before. It's Tam Nakano who needs to come from behind, this world of stardom champion, the stardom dream, the cutest in the cosmos, this is where Tam Road ends, here she beats Boy and heads to the finals to win the five star, these two are equals, but Boy knows Tam Boy, enough to counter Boy, not just once, but twice, oh she misses, but Boy fly Boys and misses Boy, oh, <laughs> Just like in their last match, Tam kills Poi outside, chokes her like in their cage match, and lands a crossbody, Tam it, you will do it, Tam it, but Poi, a crazy Poi, and they meet in the ring as Poi's again, each know just how far they can go, Tam gotta kill a fairy, but Poi gotta kill Tamu, and they're fighting, they're fighting, and Brock Poi, and Tam goes big, big Brock Poi, Poi parries Tam's knees with a drop kick, and Oh, hi, sorry. Boy, we forget boy, but Mrs. Boy. Tam wrapping boy in a straight jacket boy, but she survives with this face. Tam with the knee spam combo, Tam it. One after another, god damn it. Leading to the violet screwdriver. No! Boy going poi, 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 but Tam kicks out. Boy, back boy with a kick boy into the fairy strain for the surprise victory over Tam. Oh my, Tamu. Look at her afterwards, the complicated mix of emotions. She realizes she won. She ended her partner's five star. She stopped Tam World before it can be finished, and the grief that goes with it, but the happiness that she is still better than Tam in singles matches is still there. That's conveying emotions, folks. Nuts Boy had a stellar five star and an amazing summer as well. She is a top tier elite wrestler and just as good of a theatric performer as well. Poi deserves the world. But with this loss, Tam Nakano is eliminated from the five star. Which means Suzu Suzuki's luck has paid off big time. Without wrestling a singles match today, Suzu Suzuki has managed to win the red block and will face Micah in the finals of the five star Grand Prix. It's time. Micah 
lost her tag team partner and best friend Himeka, she is ready to burst away from Donna Del Mondo and become her own woman to win the 5 star and cement her legacy. She is only 4 years into her career and has improved leaps and bounds. This is her chance to finally reach the top of the card. And Suzu Suzuki, last year, she tried to stop Julia's run to the top in a very emotional battle, which was my favorite match of last year and a match that made me cry. Suzu Suzuki and Julia earned their respect as equals, no longer enemies, perhaps soon to be even better mates and future partners. But now, she went on an arc similar to Julia's as well as her own last year. She reached a point where she needed to win every single match and get lucky in order to reach this point. And that's exactly what she did. Suzu has left prominence, deciding to form her own legacy. She has no unit of her own, a lone wolf in the world of units. She is on her own, wanting to craft her own journey and win on her own merits. She, with a big chip on her shoulder, Suzu Suzuki can become the youngest five star winner of all time and make the grandest statement of the future of stardom. She is a gift to this world, a wrestler with a built-in backstory and many relationships already written in. She has the skills to match and is quite simply a prodigy. Two important people in the world to Julia, and that's a fascinating piece to add to this story as well. Three stories simultaneously being affected. Will Micah finally get the big one? Or can Suzu Suzuki reach that pedestal that so many people, myself included, have her on? Here in the finals of the best high quality tournament in wrestling, Suzu Suzuki versus Micah! And they don't start off with the theme of the tournament, which was Russian. No, they take their time to feel each other out until Micah dumps Suzu outside and drops her down. And it won't be a Micah match unless she gets tossed into the chairs by her own doing. But oh, she pissed. She tired of this shit. She out for blood. Into the chair Suzu goes. But oh, she pissed too. Right in front of Julia, the symbolism be damned. Inside, they start clubbing it out. The fiercer warrior happens to be Suzu, who has developed such an interesting style where well, you can't necessarily guess what she's gonna do next. She's a crazy girl after all, and being crazy means being unpredictable. Micah has to counter with strength, the good old reliable power. Suzu back and they club each other down into our next phase. Meet in the middle and a dolphin slam from Suzu, heading up top, but why? What are you gonna do up there? Micah stops us from finding out and hits a big superplex, but wait a minute, she holds it and lands another pure strength suplex and back up and oh for one more for three amigos oh micasita it's micas game now landing all of her shots but suzu counters with a spanish fly holy shit uh, unpredictable moves but micah back with an awesome power bomb up into the inca atoshi for the one two suzu kicks out micah with the discus lariat signals for the end she just needs one minchinoku driver to end it but suzu slips out and hits a poison rana. Wow! Three kicks by Suzu! And the last one perfect, but Micah almost steals the victory. Suzu quickly up with the knee. She's in control. Micah is in trouble as Suzu lands a German into the locomotion steam. German for the victory. No, Micah kicks out! Holy shit! Micah kicks out! But Suzu's not worried. She has one move she can burst out that no one would ever expect. Up top for a beautiful Sky Twister press. Holy shit! For the one, two, three. Suzu Suzuki has done it. She hit an insane Sky Twister finisher and scored the victory in the finals and has won Stardom's 2023 five star Grand Prix at 21 years of age. She has done it. She has cemented her legacy as Julia watches on with emotion. Her little sister has done it. She accomplished it from nearly winning it last year to now. Suzu Suzuki has won. She very much deserves this victory. She points to Julia. Yeah, you did it, girl. This journey of hers, Suzu Suzuki's arc, 
has been completed. She did it on her own, too. No one to help her put on her robe and crown. Just a kind Kosakai to help her. It wasn't the greatest finale match ever. I personally think they could have gone much further. More offense and false finishes from Micah on Suzu. Cause Suzu just had to survive and hit her moves to win and that's what she did. But poor Micah has failed to reach the top. It's easy to feel sad for her too, but so long as this moment leads to something in the future, a change in character perhaps, more drive to get better, this will be worth it. Micah isn't long in her career either, and she can still make it to the top. I personally want to see her evolve now, add something to her game, and let this fuel her. As for Suzu, oh, she's so crazy and unpredictable that she's challenging the red belt for the pay-per-view before Wrestle Queendom. What? She can't wait, apparently. I mean, okay. Granted, this feels like they gave Suzu the win because Utami and Kamatani were injured, but this doesn't take away the moment from Suzu, and it doesn't take away the opportunity they had to strap the rocket on her. I'm afraid she will lose against Sam and the regularly scheduled plan of Rossi's will just continue. I say, have Suzu beat Tam. Do it. Go with what the universe gave you. Have this young prodigy, this gem of Joshi, Suzu Suzuki, reach the very top and let her have a run. Let's not waste a moment and leave her just a stat in history. Let Susu Suzuki be crowned. And that's the five star Grand Prix, people. I hope you all enjoyed it. I, again, I do apologize for not continuing it in the way that I was doing it. This is the last of the five star that I'll probably be covering. So, unless I do like a giant five star special next year, but let's, let's not hold me to that. I don't even know where I'm gonna be next year. So, as always, I am grateful to everyone who loves these things, to all my supporters, and to the people who watch and like and comment, and to all my Patreon sponsors and supporters. You guys are amazing. You guys keep me going and doing this stuff. All the nice stuff that I keep hearing, all the times where I hear that I got you into stardom or, or Joshi Wrestling, that's the biggest compliment. I really, thank you so much. Thank you. I will end this video from a quote from my favorite writer, Neil Gaiman, from the Sandman series, Season of the Mist. Two absent friends, lost loves, old gods, and the seasons of mists. And may each and every one of us give the devil his due. Thank you. See ya. And thank you to all my Patreon sponsors, you guys. You guys and your continuous support has constantly driven me. Constantly, constantly, constantly. Like, you're continuous. Can some of you here for six months? That's a lot to give to an artist. And, like, thank you. We have the infamous Jeff. We have the Up Channel, Kika Noah's Dad, Anthony Alinales, Tish, Rene Valdez, Asia Trace, Maddox, Justin Stein, Matthew Pelotuska, Neil Jeff Fu, John Doe, Terrence Danwick, Edward Kaczynski, Kev Mullen, Adam K. Way, Kanashige, Party Marty 520, Punk Ricks Videos, Mina Shabakawas, Boobas, Juggernaut Graphics, Shut Up, Ingle Loud Wave, Boggle, James, 98X, Aaron Zacharias, 45222, Maj. Kai, I want victims. JLA, Justice League of America, Julia's sunglasses, this pair. Chiwa, oh darn, Pickle Simon, oh look, Marty turned himself into a pickle. Scott Racer, oh, Scott Racer. Steven Siemens, oh, Steven. Steven Siemens, Steven. If you're watching this, you're amazing. Dakota Monroe and Carvatari D. Thank you all. Chocolate, peace, and love. <laughs>